really open to sexual acts. Parang native talaga. Parang, in that in sense na animals, kasi intel intel intelligent animals naman ng mga tao sa time na yun. They were, they were people of a, a time where they could do whatever they want. Wala silang inhibitions. Freedom, free, free sila. And that's, um, in a sense, I took from, from that the fact that the, the Europeans instilled on the Filipinos a sense of um, structure and a sense of strictness to how they are. And the Filipinos, or the natives, were able to also influence kahit pa paano yung mga, yung mga Spanish and yung mga Castilla na bumalik in the end of the day to um, the, Euro, the European area um, of their openness. Right? Because a lot of the Europeans are very open yeah. in that aspect. So yun, it's, it's kind of a cycle. So it's, it starts off with an openness and a freedom and then we need to put structure again yeah. and then it goes back again into a sense of freedom. So, so I think that's where we are now. Picking up from that cycle that you mentioned, is it up that the way that movie was ended was that it, it was actually left hanging in a way. It was just that climactic scene, that's it. Yeah. Um, I guess it's up to the people's perceptions, uh -huh. however they feel about how this particular movie could end. And I think that um, you know, some people would think that it's poetic justice for the Filipina who killed the Spaniard. Um, in such a gruesome manner. In such a gruesome manner. Um, but then again, we already showed the sex, you know? So why not show the killing? Because it's, it's, I mean, there's human centipede, which is worse than <laughs> the gruesomeness that you saw here. And, you know, so I think it's, it's up to the perceptions of people who, who watch and, and what they take from it. Um, you're, you mentioned your upcoming project, which means you're really lying low from TV for a while. You're deciding to really pursue with the film craft more. Uh, it's not, a, it's not a, a conscious decision. I mean, wherever projects take you, you go. And ngayon, uh, ang mga pumapasok na projects, uh, of course, mga pelikula. So, I'm very thankful for that. And of course, theater. Um, kasi inuhun ko ang craft ko ngayon. Para sa future, kapag nagkaroon na ako ng break, diba? Ng break sa TV, um, I will have the experience under my belt. Na pwede ko ang ano. Parang, ipakita, ipakita ang gila siya, in a sense. Mga tao, ano, all over the Philippines, through television, what I've learned through the indie film process, through the mainstream film process, and through theater. Um, lastly, on Miss Campbell, how do you feel? I mean, watching her now, and then, because she did pass a couple of weeks ago, what, what, what did that make you feel? I was the first one who visited her in the hospital. When she was? So how, was well, how was that like for you? Uh, she was... She helped me so much in the process of creating the movie. She was the reason I did the movie in a sense. She was one of my teachers, one of my mentors. And I will forever remember everything she has instilled in me. It's like a passing of one generation to the next generation to the next generation. And I love how she is as, a, as, a, as an actress, how she is able to, to not to just, you know, you know how possibility with some actresses or actors, they tend to like to keep their acting prowess to themselves, so that they themselves will show their acting prowess. But for Amak Yambao, she was... What do you call her pala? Or uh, her, you call her Ate, Tita? Kunin lang natin siya with the other cast. Okay, okay. Last week, last week. Yeah. Um, tita Ama. Tita Ama or Ms. Ama. So with her? With her, she was, she was someone who, who, made, who gave information, who told people about what she's learned. She was a teacher. And that's what makes her brilliant. Thank you.